Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, welcome. Now, before I present you guys with the main point of the video here, I come at you guys completely out of character to deliver you guys a very important and specific disclaimer here. Now, while I will be in my character once the video commences, known as Mega Crasher, I need to make a mention that I'm going to be adding a little bit more spice to my character. I'm going to be adding a little bit of a twist. Uh, and that is the, the fact that my character is going to be more of a heel, more of a villain here in this video. Uh, basically, I'm going to be a little bit more of an instigator, at least as far as my character goes. Uh, and I'm going to be doing this for fun and for your guys' entertainment. And this has to do 100% with the Smogon Suspect test results of Mega Sableye. Now, I'm going to come at you guys completely professional right here and right now and say that... I'm not fully on board with that decision, uh, which you guys will find out once the video proceeds. But, you know what? The thing of it is, is Smogon is doing the best they can to keep the metagame in balance and stuff like that. I know that not every decision that they make is going to be agreeable by everybody, but at the end of the day, you know, Smogon is just trying to do what's best for the metagame. You know what I'm saying? And I gotta say that I'm very much grateful for all the amazing friends that I've met from the Smogon community. Like, those guys have been so good to me and so good to all of us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I just want to preface this once more that this video is going to be 100% staged, 100% fun. And I hope that you guys enjoy this twist that I have for you guys when the video commences. So with all that being said, it's time to get into character. And I'll see you in a moment. no idea how Smogon managed to fuck things up, but they did. They really did it this time, man. The thing of it is, is that this isn't the first time that Mega Sableye has been suspect tested, and you would think that people would have learned from the first time when it was suspect tested, and the result, it wasn't banned. So people should have sat down and shut their goddamn pie holes because of the fact that, hey, majority said it doesn't need to be banned. But yet, people were kicking up such a big stink because they were getting all pissed off because they couldn't use them hazards. Them hazards. Oh my god. You know what? You're a damn hazard to the damn community because you offered nothing. And the thing of it is, is now that Mega Sableye is gone, well, Jesus Christ, what the hell's next to be suspect tested for 6th generation OU? Like, this right here. It's like I've said from the start, man. You guys are essentially creating a reverse power creep. Because Mega Sableye has checked and countered some of the most craziest Pokemon. Like Mega Metacham, Mega Gallade, you know? Like, the list goes on. Mega Metagross. And now, okay, now that Mega Sableye is gone, those Pokemon are going to be steamrolling the shit out of the metagame. Good job, good job. You had one fucking job, and you screwed it up. Holy shit, man. But let's just see how bad you guys fucked this up, okay? So, a super majority has been reached. Eligible voters, 71%. 61, or sorry, 67. I'm getting so fucking tongue-tied, man, because I'm so pissed off. Let's just get to the percentage here. So, we have a 65.67 percentage in favor of banning. So, that right there is the percentage that you should not have listened to. Because it's those people that lack the experience like the big bad Mega Crasher does when it comes to battling. Yes, I may not be in the highest of high ranking when it comes to OU. But sometimes the numbers don't matter. It's about the thought process. It's about what you know, okay? Not what you think you know, okay? And the, fa the fact is, is that Mega Sableye has never been a big problem for me, okay? The thing of it is... I have had more than my fair shares of wins and losses against it. And the thing is, Fairy-type Pokemon counter the Mad Dog shit out of it. And if you Smogon Knights had paid attention and watched my damn video discussing Mega Sableye in its entirety, you would understand that this thing literally does not need to be banned, okay? I even made things a little bit more challenging when it comes to trying to find checks and counters to it that wasn't a Fairy-type. And you got a whole bunch of fairy type, a fire type Pokemon that can counter this thing, okay? But yet, you guys decided not to listen. You guys decided not to listen. 
Well, golly gee, I wonder what's next to be suspect tested. I mean, even though Pokemon Sun and Moon is already out, you guys are probably going to be suspect testing a whole bunch of things because you guys are afraid of change. You guys are afraid to adapt. It's as if it's like what Evolution said a couple years ago. You either adapt or you perish. And I'm thinking that maybe, just maybe, the 7th generation metagame is something that not even Smogon can handle. And if that is the case, well then you guys should just fucking quit. Because if you guys can't adapt to small changes, well then what's gonna happen when a big change happens and you guys go completely batshit crazy? You know what I'm saying? Holy shit, I got nothing more to say. Oh my fucking god. Actually, there is just one more thing that I gotta say. So don't adjust your sets just yet, okay? You're here because I tell you to be here. Never in my life. Have I been scared of nobody or nothing? Not even Mega Sableye. In fact, I've been living my life trying to find reason why people fear Mega Sableye, yet I found none. So listen to what the big bad Mega Crash has to say. Y'all are stupid. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so with all that being said, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this slight change in my character, or maybe a major change. I, I don't know how big of a shock it would be to you guys when it comes to a change like that, but don't worry. Like, this right here is just for experimentation. I mean, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Do you guys like this side of Mega Crasher, or would you guys prefer to have Mega Crasher be the crazy Pokemon-loving maniac that isn't really a face or a heel, you know, isn't really a good guy or a bad guy, he's just in it to rage and entertain you guys because he loves every single one of you guys, and I love you guys too, I mean, without a doubt, you know, you guys are truly the inspiration as to why I keep doing what I do for you guys, you know, every single day, even when I'm not feeling the best, you know, I made a commitment, I made a pact since day one, that I would be giving you guys daily content for you guys to watch, for you guys to share, and you guys to enjoy, um, now the only, only case where I wouldn't be able to upload content would, well, there'd actually be, uh, two reasons, one, if I was physically unable to, such as if I had, uh, strep throat and I couldn't talk, uh, or if I was in the hospital for some reason. Uh, and number two, if my internet or my equipment went completely kaput. And I had no way to upload videos for you guys. Um, but other than that though, you know, like, I love uploading for you guys. Even when I feel as drained as ever before, you know, I love it. Because you guys truly re-energize me. And I hope that, uh, that you guys know that and you guys take that with you because it is the truth, okay? Like, you guys are truly the biggest inspiration to me and I, I there, there's, there's nothing that I would rather have than what we have right now and that is perfection. Perfection in the form of all of you. So I want to say thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you fire off a like. Um, and if you guys enjoyed, uh, this, uh, little, uh, turn that Mega Crasher had, my character, you know, feel free to let me know, like, you know, be, be critical, okay, give me some constructive criticisms when it comes to that, I mean, uh, whether or not you guys, uh, love to see that side of Mega Crasher and you guys love to see it more often, or, you know, maybe not so often, or maybe even never again, like, this right here is just experimentation, you know what I'm saying, uh, so, with all that being said, and out of the way, uh, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget, I love each and every single one of you guys, and especially the Smogon, you know, again, I want to preface this one more time, what you guys saw was clearly a joke, okay, um, it's like I said before, you know, you guys are doing the best thing that you can do for the metagame, and that's to try and keep things in balance as best as you can, and you know what, like, I, I love you for it, I mean, even though I may not always agree with your decisions, at the end of the day, you guys are doing what's best for the community of Smogon, and I couldn't respect you guys anymore for that. So thank you guys, everybody, for watching this video. 